<laughs> okay, uh, let's get uh, let's get started. Uh, it's my great pleasure today to introduce Rong Wan Hong uh, to give today's two seminar. Rong Wan is a research fellow at Microsoft Quantum. He got his PhD at Sutton, working with uh, John Preskill, and was then a popular fellow at MIT. Uh, John Wan has very broad and interesting interest in the interface of many body topological physics and quantum information theory. As a PhD student, he discovered a brand new phase of topological order in three dimensions, um, motivated by the uh, quest to build a fault tolerant art to build up that correctly robust quantum memory in 3D. Um, John Wan came up with what's now known as Hall's code, which started the field of ratons. Uh, as a popular fellow, John uh, John Wan um, got this field started of using random circuit models to study questions in quantum dynamics and quantum conversation, which has been an enormously uh, fruitful enterprise. And most recently, uh, John Wan has used this new paradigm for error correction, which is gaining a lot of attention, uh, which goes under the name of the paper. And I'm uh, very glad that we haven't heard this other. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. Very generous introduction. Uh, yes, so the title is Measurement PCA in the most open terms. So I feel like I can introduce what they are first before we get into their connection. So, yeah, so let's first review uh, the extent of color. They're not closely related at the distance of the way. Both of this the, the, the <clears throat> So QCA uh, is a is a is a special form of a model of production right there. So the having to preserve the meaning here. Um, so uh, you may have heard about well, I'm sure you have studied the group one process, the operation in two groups that was a full operation. In algebra, there are two operations, addition and multiplication. Homomorphism is, is, a, is a third homomorphism best for it, but it's invertible. So, in particular, we have a oh, oh, There are three pieces of structure when you talk about upper logic and the dagger. I must preserve the dagger as well. And there was a design that was passed. A C is any complex number. And we insist that it is invertible. Uh, the property of uh, this QCA beyond the property of being an homomorphism is that. If you look at the image of an operator X at a certain point, I say, then the support of the image must be close to the original one, allowing a certain track. So, a typical example is a uh, small depth point circuit. This is the time axis, the phase phase axis. Uh, if, you have, if you insert an observable here, that conjugated by this unitary circuit will. Rather than your nominal support of the operator, I would like to come this. And if the deck is small, then the spread will not be too large. So we satisfy the third observing. Another very important example, of course, is the short time and time evolution. Actually, the quantum circuit is a discrete model for the Hamiltonian evolution. Uh, technical difficult uh, difference is that the Hamiltonian evolution will broaden more. Observable beyond what is the nominal life of the quantum circuit, as you will have a little bit of tail. Um, so, people talk about the orbison velocity and so on, uh, but uh, essentially, there are basically the same objects. Um, and uh, mathematically, the support condition is what distinguishes this QCA. Uh, is, uh, once you keep the input measure the algebras, and all algebras are basically the same. You are working with a discrete mass. Uh, there are a number of conditions you have to put, but there are you know, I can think of like all the same. But with locality, uh, all the dimensions can be current. So this is what is the new methods. And why do I care about that? Well, first, uh, these are important examples of dynamics. All of all this. Uh, <clears throat> but there's another motivation. Yeah. Um, so now, just let's just focus on the concepts. 
Imagine I have a, some brick wall geometry of common gates. So and suppose the composition of all these gates happens to be identical. This was why would you bother with infinities of those complicated gates? The important piece is that when you drop the gates on the say half of the space, preserving uh, retaining everything on top, say on the right side of the space, dropping everything at the left of the cut, and you do whatever you want with the middle. You think it that or vertically. <laughs> now look at this uh, what the operator would go under this truncated uh, circuit. Deep in the hole where you, where things are making text, the number of light tone will be is the same as before. So nothing changes. So this is here, nothing is there, so it must be in the middle, something is something's going to But this is build up of a uh, locality preserving. Local units. So in the end, at least you must have a, a unitary B plus which I presume properly. So I have mapped uh, locate identity circuit. Then looking at the uh, co-dimension one surface, I have used some unitary that is so It's not well defined, by the way, because I, I allow you to do anything. You can actually go the other way. Given a locality preserving the unitary of the CA alpha, you bring another copy of the same system and consider the alpha tensor uh, of the tensor alpha. On the one sheet, you apply alpha, the other sheet, you apply the unitary system. And it is well known from 2007 or so. I the joint tensor product is also is always sometimes. Ah, by the way, I didn't tell you that locality preserving unitary is necessarily a constant for any combination. And even with such a fact, you can implement this alpha to appear uh, as a boundary of the one. How do you do it? Uh, it's a, it's a, well, the, that all you have to remember is the corresponding one. One minus one. <laughs> Plus one, that's one. <laughs> Still. Well, if I work it like this, so what did I do? From the zero, I created uh, alpha and alpha inverse by the tensor. Did the same thing. So basically, we leave these, these pair of and then I cancel the alpha inverse and alpha on a different uh, one shifted. Then what you're left with is this one precisely. So, yeah, this is the usual called the Lepers swindle argument. Swindle appears to be an archaic word with the previous problem. <laughs> And swing the argument is taken for your <laughs> So, yeah, so I have implemented successfully implemented a locality preserving unitary in dimension using a circuit. And uh, this uh, overall ar argument is less, exactly the same as what is called the vertical space. So, this is another name for short range vector space. And uh, you can actually classify some things and improve some information. I, I, I just mentioned, I would like to mention this uh, result. So imagine there is a lattice, um, some d dimensional lattice, occupied with uh, now it's a special dimension, occupied with the prime power, uh, some number of kinetics or two tricks, but no Q uh, forward dimension. Uh, forward dimension is fine. Six dimensions. The score is two. And then I only consider PCA, so unitary, uh, of a special sort. Um, 
you may, if you give me a copy of later, it doesn't make me. And after an application of this way, I should get a tensor product. Some of some of tensor products is everything. I'm probably not allowed to so many so so many must be. So you should, should be familiar with that. Uh, in, that is uh, all three Then there's a classification um, in this problem sense. So think of a group of all of them. It, it forms a group by the obvious operation of, of composition. Um, and then you forget anything that could be implemented by deeper surface or translation. <clears throat> so this uh, comes back to my, uh, my brief remark. The point of studying QCA is to, uh, is to probe what could be there, could be out there that is competitive for serving, but not necessarily. So the discrete version of that is a paper circuit. Uh, so it's going to have a lot of component versions for local generic. So it's a circuit, now even specialized in paper. Uh, shift translation, just a literally translation. Or in higher dimensions, you use the bigger separation. And it's a more more motion. And it, well, it's the, 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 the motion, is, motion is somewhat short range that is kind of obvious reason. But that is well known to be not uh, generally uh, not accessible by any component. Now, I want to forget all those. And depending on the dimension, there's a three. So if your underlying discrimination is two, then there's nothing in zero, one, two, but there's something for all dimensions. But for all prime dimensions, it's something here this Um If you specialize to dimension three, it's always possible dimension that is non trivial. You consider the sum of all of those, then it is it is almost the same as the the, the group of all meaning and improvements. So, to excuse me. Yes. Um, so this doesn't depend on Q. There, I thought there's a Q. Oh, oh, Q does not enter. Right. Oh, good point. Yeah, I I, I require Q to be finite. That's it. Whatever Q will give me. People doesn't change, uh, and it has to be that way because it's a uh, you know by allowing power, I allow you to block several sites nearby to and you can insist that that it's a several block several sites to get just a super once. The answer shouldn't change, you know, depending on my interpretation of the system. So it's not that. Uh, uh, one remark about if you're willing to read some of the stuff, the paper, <laughs> uh, the paper mentions only translation invariant case, but the uh, Hastings use of Kirby's first trick that uses the long period of case. I'm mean, going to update the paper. I have said that this for a year, but I didn't. I <laughs> okay, now, now, now let's change the gear. Uh, let's review what the blockade code is. Um, so it's a it's a it's a simple problem. So you need to specify what the problem is. There's one qubit per, per, per vertex in this context, as in the type of problem. I put the period by the condition so it, so that I do not worry about the boundaries. Then I assign operators on each edge depending on the location. On the is there are three directions, <laughs> of the so three directions. Depending on that, I have um, And uh, oh, you can also think of this assignment as a uh, uh, three coloring of the pockets. So I color the pockets in three colors, so zero, one, two. Uh, and then there are the uh, uh, there are edges that are connecting to same uh, labeled pockets. I call that edge type zero. Then 
we are classifying all the edges into nine categories, nine subsets. Could be XX type and type zero or YY type of type zero. And then what you do, the protocol of this being a code, is that you measure all the zero edges. So maybe okay, so you measure all the zero edges. The operator you are measuring depends on the uh, orientation. You can change the you can apply the local change of basis to, so that all the zero edges are at the same time. But this is round one. Round two, measure these edges. So at every round, the the, the, the operators you are measuring are not going to So and all, all can be done simultaneously. Then you similarly do the round two. So the three rounds on the key repeat. You may wonder how come this is a code? Uh, I, I don't only measure two cubic feet. So, looking up this jacket. <laughs> <laughs> This is why it's a code. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to tell you that uh, there, there's an operator associated with the bucket that gets measured every um, uh, the, the elementary calculation is based on this principle. So if, you're, if, you're, <coughs> if the operator that you're going to measure is already in your standardized group, then the measurement outcome is deterministic. Or if the operator that you're going to measure is not in the standardized group of the sign, then there are two cases where the operator you measure will happen to commute with every element of the standardized group or does. In this case, the new operator will be inserted into the standardized group. In the latter case, one, one of the operators in the standardized group will be kicked out and you are inserted in the field. So you just you just follow this rule and then you, you examine step by step how the instantaneous step by step growth evolves. Then initially you, you start with nothing, so zero measurements, you only get the operators of zero. And as you move on, uh, you get to measure some hexagons. So imagine I have measured, say, type zero and one. So I measure these edges. And then those edges. And the product was tell, tell me the target value of the option. <coughs> and uh, this is a code. So we did some performance estimate. And this is one of the reasons we got traction within the Microsoft because it performs well, better in a sense. And no, just to clarify, the naive style honeycomb model does not have any code. There's no code there. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, I said, well, no, you know. Well, except for certain um, Right. So, the naive implementation of a leading candidate for quantum logical memory is a uh, surface code. You could, do, you could implement this using measurements. Something unitary can be compiled to the measure. And so we did that and then measure performance like that. But due to the complexity of population of various synapses using measurements, the threshold is estimated around like 0.2%. Less than what is nominally told as well. But the, the same error model, in the same for the same error model, you can implement the Okay, so um, any three colorful lattice which shows a uh, 4K lattice. And their threshold is estimated to be around 1%, a little bit higher than 1%. So there's a roughly five-fold jump in the threshold value, which is a big deal. That was two of them recent. Noise model is important. Uh, uh, <coughs> Google people have implemented uh, tested the performance of this code as well. They actually uh, compare different errors. 
Um, you, can, you should think of it as an error model as a parameterization of your voice. So in our parameterization, where the circuited poly group and custom measurements are uh, 31 on trivial cases, if they offer the equal poly group, which is not so realistic, but it's one, just the a choice of parameterization measurements. In that noise model, I wouldn't claim that it is always better, but certain regimes have a great chance of being better. So that's the location. Now, uh, I did not tell you when I showed you the, the, the performance estimate, but the um, original period three location had a period. Uh, original had a periodic average for the calculation and the chorus. On this so a planar version of such code is important. The surface code we now know how to do that. Okay, because it was not true. One solution we end up developing follow the unmodified sequence. So with a certain boundary conditions, and then we measure this type zero, one, two. And then normally the instruction is that you should go, go measure type zero again, but somehow. We end up measuring a different schedule. The bulk is the scale type zero. The boundary is different. And then instead of going to one, go back to one. So, so you, you go through the uh, period six, six, three. So there's a period double. Uh, practical performance uh, estimates doesn't really care whether it's three or six. But it makes us curious why you have to be six. We gave some reason that if you are forced to measure only two qubits at a time, then there is a, some reason that the qubit must less than double. Okay. But in general, you could do something else. So there must be some, some reason that we. So we wanted to develop some period. That's the whole concept. Let's talk about the measurement circuits in a one step back. The, uh, the first thing I want to mention is the reversible measurement. Measurement is not a new Measurement is inherently irreversible. What are you talking about? Let's focus on a, a simple teleportation protocol. Initially, uh, my second qubit was in the tagging state of X. Then I go ahead and measure the species. Then I measure. <coughs> The, the whatever state you have on the first qubit, not the number of people, is now teleported to the second qubit after this two step measurement sequence. This is perhaps, this is essentially the same as the original teleportation protocol in the era of the states. But, uh, this is perhaps a more modern version of it. Um, one key feature of this measurement sequence is that the probability of having, uh, having plus is always half. So by the one thing, plus 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 of having this at every stage, the probability of seeing plus alpha is always half. So let me remind you of how that works. Uh, so if I look at the, if I look at this step, the the orange one tells me the probability of having certain plus is going to fit. But this side were minus state of x. Insert x here without changing anything. But this x and to finish with z. So if I remove this, I mean, I would I could change the side here. But that's precisely the color. It's always the same. And that's, uh, there's a now, we can make it one plus off the mark. We wanted to teleport this on a little bit to the second. And the start system, unfortunately, we learned nothing. How can we say it be So we did not discover And you can go back, literally, measure it again, and you put it back. 
Um, a little bit more abstractly, you can go to many QB system and then consider a larger stepless group. And uh, here, uh, the criteria is that if you label, uh, if you come up with the uh, communication matrix between the generating set of two step groups that are finally correct, then in this case, you would end up having a like this. Which is happened to be work. So the criteria for a reversible dynamics is that we can yeah, write down the matrix of computation relation. So here one refers to the fact that this generator and that generator and this will have and if that matrix is invertible, then your dynamics is irreversible. Preserving certain subspace of the space. And we want to do something a little bit more special. So we introduced locally reversal. So here's the definition. Uh, say the, the pair of uh, two stabilizer groups. So if you have a sequence of measurements, then you just look at the two time neighboring uh, stabilizer groups. Uh, we, we call it local reversible if there are local generators such that the, the competition matrix is basically uh, locally paired up uh, and if, that, if you could find such a local generator set. Here's an example of uh, so, so, yeah. so on these two steps, what you do is well, yeah, these two steps. This is a my local generator and having another They all pair that fashion. Next time step, this and that are paired up. Next time step, this and that. In this cyclic fashion, there you can always find pieces. Now, maybe this is a bit difficult to imagine. You you heard the definition, first of all. But let me tell you that this is basically a unitary circuit to the back. Um, suppose my A and B are entities. Not many of my system, just a, a two cubic system, a one cubic system. Um, and then I cook up a new <coughs> an operator that looks like this. A and B are executing how we operators are both permission. So U is permission. Now, if I just square it, what do I get? Two over A squared A. A squared. These are identity. This is zero because they're So it's one. So U was the permission. So this is equal to. Now, if I apply this U on an eigenstate of A, then I have a this calculation. And I trust you that you can do this calculation for the fact. So plug in this U value, use the fact that this identity here, and manipulate it, you end up with U times that. So overall, B on this state has identity one. So what, what did you do? You transform an eigenstate of A into an eigenstate of B by applying this. So the same could be done if you could just measure. So measurement is now realized by if the initial state was an eigenstate. So you know, just apply this calculation to that periodic locally reversible surface. Um, it's always achieved by some unitary circuit on top of the initial uh, background. Um, of course, the random, uh, the outcome will be random, completely random. There will be a correlation that individual ones are random, um, and the different outcomes will correspond to some correction later. But the bad expression is always that you are going to be Okay, so. In the, in, the, in the previous example, what I, what I do was uh, I can just replace each country of pairs by a unitary 
this group of feet. It looks like it's exactly even for the Oh, by the way, this is a translation. Maybe here, goes to here, and then here. And the, the, the final stage and the beginning stage have the same stabilized group. So you have moved this one to site three, and so on. Well, someone might play, that sounds wrong. How would you implement the translation? Is that I started with the not the full paper space, but the translation. Basically, one peak, one, one soft system is translated to the right, the other system is translated to the left. But the, the, the thing that is translated to the left happens to be a translation here. Okay. Now, another problem. Consequence of having a, a unitary certain point. So, so, what do you mean by a background stabilizer group? You mean just stabilizers of the initial state, or yeah? So it's a piece of periodic. So you get these points. The stabilizer is there. Yes. So, so in in the most general case, the is the only thing you need is that um, all the man and output have the same property. That's it. Yes. Um, yeah, that's, that's right. Although the logical method will start with the entity operators, drive at the unitary. Then we concluded that the probability of the entity operators. Numbers might be true, but it's something to be sure. Okay, so <coughs> the consequence of looking at the periodic. Uh, uh, reversible as uh, as a unitary is the preserving. So, given that any logical operator, and since we're talking about a subsystem stabilized by a certain stabilized group, which is a logical operator, so logical operator, and you examine if, it, if, the, if this representative commutes with the measurement operator for our if not, that, that particular representative is not going to preserve. So find something that can be useful. You, you, you should find the constant of the And the, the local reversibility guarantee is that such a modification will be always there. You, should be, you can always find a representative of a given logical operator. Here, that original support is such that it is a genuine quantity. And the definition of local reversibility is actually motivated by the right side. <coughs> right. Now, we want to examine this dynamics, but there's a technical trouble. The code, it's a code. What's the purpose of it? We want to protect it. How do we protect it? By making logical operators large. We don't want local operators. But large operator in a strict sense is going to make them be supported by operator algebra, which I don't want to do. The one challenge is like this. So if I have to give you two infinitely supported operators and they overlap, they commute on that. How can I test that? If you if you're guaranteeing me that they're crossing across one point, then I can say, but are these very two infinitely supported operators? Not. I don't want to do that very soon. Yeah. So that gives us a headache. How do we resolve that? By looking at an example first. And here we came to a very simple It's not a all hard model, but it suffices for our purpose. So let me illustration this question. So this is essentially the same as the surface code. So in the Hawking model, uh, every black dot. Forms a square lattice, and there is a square lattice. They all meet, which is actually one layer of unitary away from the unitary. And then we insert an extra figure circuit among the vertical things. And using that extra figure we just shift everything down. Remember, I showed you how to implement the, the translation in one dimension by measurements. It's a, Step four cycle. Here's a step four cycle that moves the entire uh, state down one step. Now, 
down here off the bottom. Here on the charting control system, because the the which is does not cause any problem is uh, all the measurements we are doing is always on the vertical line. But if it is inverted boundary, no problem. Then, since this was a, a, a boundary, may have some local logical operators. I say logical, but uh, operators that are small and at the same time. And the dynamics force you to induce a certain dynamics on this uh, boundary logic. And that is also the downward shift. That algebra pops up in a, a many different contexts. Uh, one representation of that algebra is by, by random linears. And in that picture, the downward shift is like you are sending one mile, not two. Um, every so we want to capture that. So here comes another that definition to capture exactly that, but a little bit abstracted. So consider a set of all the logical operators of some. Don't ask. Actually, don't need that. It is a logical subset. It just need a sum set of. Uh, Operators. And then you consider some a, a subgroup. Doesn't have to be like I, I consider the quotient of it too. So now it's going to capture the situation we have. And I consider the automorphism of this group. And you see that it would be convertible. And I want to input the locality. This is a quotient group. How can I? For every represent in a domain you give me, you can find another representative in a token name such that, well, you can implement alpha genuine things. Actually, it can be thought of as an image of me, but the representative should be near. So the map is going at the, the equivalence class level, but the representatives are uh, can be chosen in a, in a preserved fashion. So it's almost the same as visual PCA, which is defined for all full operator algebra. Now we are constricting to some subset, modulus So it's something more general. Uh, it's not a fair comparison, though. Uh, it's a, we only consider poly upgrades for general algebra. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we show that. Uh, such an such an MQC always appears at the periodic that uh, local reversible values in any image. Uh, we have some subject to certain technical conditions. One is that underlying code must be topological in the specified sense. Then I want the periodic so that the alpha maps to itself. The, the local preserving property invented by the MQCA is implied by the very definition of the And uh, here's another piece of mathematics I want to emphasize. Uh, this is an old subject. It pops up in a. So, what's the definition of near in the previous slide? Ah, near means that. Uh, <coughs> And it's defined even though Q and P are something to it, you say it could be from Yes. I can, I can talk about the support. I cannot talk about the combination, which is right. So, uh, well, perhaps this slide is not necessary, but if there's not, you know, if you find this object later useful, then I'll talk about it. <laughs> uh, the, the point is this. I'll, I'll, I'll talk this. So, the, a linear map between any arbitrary vector space is called red home if the kernel and the full kernel are both finite. So, uh, the kernel is some, something that domain that, that, that is killed by the linear map. The kernel is the full domain modulo, but is killed by the. Um, so, and then, colloquially speaking, we can make it precise that any such red home map is invertible map. Except for some tiny subspace. 
And you can see that this definition doesn't make any anything special about finite dimension Everything's fine. So low shock is interesting only in the infinite functions. And actually historically it's developed in that <coughs> But in the uh, late 80s, Saracen pointed out that it has nothing to do with the post I This is my, my, my surprise. I didn't know that before, but I learned through the CD. Yeah, this is nothing to do with the post And it's interesting that if you look at any map forces, inevitably this, this object appears in the portion analysis. Uh, so yeah, what is there? This is has nothing to do with that. And you can also set an index of this random model here. Where, you know, the both are finite dimensions, so the other dimension might be at risk. That's an index. An index that obeys very nice properties from like composition, dense addition, extra product, dense addition, finite dimensional perturbation. So how do we define an index? So we, we get a natural definition of empty state, only when you find the natural circuits. Now we restrict to the one dimensional study, we can now apply the fragment of one. Yeah. We can cut. So the empty state is defined to be an invertible operator. Invertible operator random index is trivially zero. It's not interesting. Let's make a cut and collect all the operators possible. On the left, embedded into the full, uh, uh, full <laughs> you know, set of L's mod S, and then I'll find alpha. So alpha leaves on as an order of And I draw this as a transition because originally it's a set of all possible is here, now it's now translated on the side. And then chop that off. Smearing out this. And then you consider the composition of these three arrows and apply the random index theory. That's um, for a technical reason, I need to map like that. So the index is either half integer or a whole integer. Um, and then, well, uh, and basically, this index measures how many logical operators are crossing. Explicitly calculate the translation will be some integer, but the circuit will never be So, yeah, so so far we talked about all the definitions and the examples. So, here's some uh, results that we now fully classify one dimension of Charlie's numbers. There's nothing more than a repetition. Not surprising result. That's just sort of speculating many references, but we have not seen any explicit measures in this case. Um, and uh, as a corollary, we show that um, if you give me a, a periodic uh, local reverse momentum circuit strictly in one dimension, then it, it canonically induces some empty state in that same dimension, and that empty state must have an initial. Not in particular, not at a So yes, this seemingly innocuous uh, inclusion implies this more in that translation circuit that has the most point. Uh, now let's go to two mention a little bit of uh, Make things a little bit crazy. I talk a little bit of that business here. So we say top loss for coast, but what do you mean by that? We do not want any local. Surely one in large. And in addition, we demand that if you tell me that my cluster of X stations happens to be local, and find this. On a, on, a, on a piece of Tory code, you can insert two X stations by a string operator that means this. And now I'm looking, uh, now I'm looking at the complex call that sort of comes uh, that includes the X station. And I read command by a property of a, a call. We should be able to annihilate these. 
permutation, but uh, the only constraint will show it in general, not violated by any exception. And then we consider the vacuum. Um, <clears throat> it's a blending in the vacuum. The word blending says, uh, so you, you introduce a spatial boundary of a, a, a periodic local reversal circuit. And uh, um, upon the insertion of the boundary, you should be that the, the whole circuit, the circuit, still remain where the end is. Um, I think this always happens, but then we weren't able to show in generality, so we just assume it. So, even those conditions, even those the, 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 the two dimensional circuit that admits all those properties, then you can identify an FP state at the boundary. All, all the symbols we have shown always satisfy these. So, yeah. Then you come back to the original motivating sample, the function of three, and after uh, some laborious computation, which I'm not going to show here, you find that index is active. Interestingly, choice of Certain measurements I mean, the modification of the of measurement schedule at the boundary changes the sign. So you could indeed change the index by some major amount. By a choice of one is not a property of the law. Can you guess another reason why the index must be one only one with all the future? We're looking at the one dimensional boundary of the two dimensions. I'm asking you, can you modify the index by an integer? Modify the value. Since the translation is possible at the purely one dimension system, we just just suppose that one dimension translation is and you can make index whatever you want up to the but now that remains a, that, 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 that leaves us a question whether you could remove that. <laughs> yes, I just think. So, right. So, yeah, we showed that the index of MPCA whenever they exist as an index value in Z2. That means they're more holy than this one. So, we can now say that the, although we have derived the index by so, therefore, we in the Huntington code of period three is not here. Our period doubling connection is So, now let's think about the situation a little bit more abstractly. So, think about a graph. Nodes being instantaneous. Uh, so, then you catch between two nodes if they pair, if they meet the first pair. So, the, on the on the on the on the side, you start with the for example, and then you come through the different for conditions, and you come back. This is a genuine vision of this patch. And yeah, yeah, in general, periodic sequence will be find a loop. And this loop will give you a sequence of that version, this way, then you can reverse. That amounts to follow this path on one direction, reverse the direction. So that's, that, that's, that looks familiar in the home theory. Loop. First, and B, this planar version has zero. And I want to point out that there is a curious construction uh, that appeared shortly after our course paper, so the Huntington code on our course. Uh, uh, yeah, we all constructed a boundary condition with the seemingly all checks, all, all loss checks. So here we call the sequence, uh, and every instantaneous step the another loop is larger distance, and every pocket gas measure should we couldn't expect some tolerance. 
and the uh, uh, low multiple operator is potentially intangible. But it's not. It's found to be not fault tolerant. There's a like some space space time for you. And uh, the boundary dynamics is not that there's a bunch of operator that happens to be <coughs> one side must be mapped to another one that is this. And that is consistent with our theory that uh, this uh, theory three all has been this one one single. So it does not have any anything that has to be so I give you a few acronyms, UCA, one is cellular automata. The reason it's called public cellular automata is, uh, I think it's considered as a model of computation. And think about, about oh, quantum must be limited. How do we do this? Reversible. Then, oh, in fact, it's impossible. That's the thing that's called. So we need to. We, we talked about how such a uh, not necessarily Hamiltonian generated that Hamiltonian theory appears at the boundary of some much higher cylinder that happens to be identity. And then we, uh, focusing on the Pauli uh, paper world, we generalize the position of the state onto some group of logical objects, modular objects, Pauli And uh, <coughs> we pointed out that uh, this top of objects. Here is at the boundary of the two dimensional <coughs> one dimension higher than the two dimensional. I'm not saying every QC in QC here is in this fashion. And the notion of local reversible means that we should be able to identify one set of local generators that are paired of about 20 centimeters from the side. Mm -hmm. And unlike the unitary case, the measurements and implement translation basically you can forget about the self-sitting process where the self based okay. And we managed to define the Z2 Z2 variant associated with periodic This class includes the whole And uh, first we'll take a and a version that are better treated. I'm not sure if this, this right on index is that defined in the linear space of the operator. Well, both. Uh, not immediately. So, the reason we could use that product index without much modification is that we only look at the poly operators. And that forms a uh, basically, it's like a preferred form that's a finite dimensional space associated with size. So, on a line, it forms a pattern. Space. But the general QCA will map a poly to product of poly. Mm -hmm. Right. So the JMBW index is not immediate consequence of gravity. So you could apply it to the quantum box, but not to not immediately to this general index. Okay. You mentioned at the beginning the title anomalies. Could you explain a bit more how it relates? Anomalies. Oh, <laughs> we, we, we just called it a novel this is on <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's on the boundary of the right. well, it, it, it's anomalous in the sense that it does not meet uh, uh, <laughs> the of the astronaut. The final version must have a trivial and that, that corroborates with. So they so explained at some point that the kind of measurement that, that you're looking at are, are ones that you can represent as a unitary. 
So again, the objective of get is you could write this as product of unitary is that constant. Yes. So how is it different from or what makes it different from like the QCA case? Exactly. <laughs> The background means that it's going to, if you want to act on the 90s, it's one of those. It's funny, and you may, have, you may have said something about this, and I missed it. Does the, do these tools for partially classifying and understanding the structure of of these codes help you anyway find new ones. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, the the look of reversibility appears to be important for this Actually during this visit I got confused with the existence of social classification. It's not Oh, by the way, the, the notion of local reverse entity alone does not look like local properties. For a trivial reason, I mean, you can put the little circuit the no measurement shells in there. It's perfectly fine for the universe to say, it does not look like that. Just going back to the question of Pablo asked before about anomalies. That this all seems a bit similar to the idea of kind of anomaly so or symmetry is very good. Something on anomaly on the boundary is connected to can be explained by uh, properties of bulk. So is can that relationship be sharpened or uh oh, oh okay so another way to say it's anomalous is that uh, the So this behavior, uh, <clears throat> the boundary loss flow, I have collected all the loss flow operators in that group. The financing some of the boundary shares, but the index is half. That behavior cannot be achieved in a standard So that's not a good issue. Thank <laughs> you.